Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy, and welcome back to more Okami Den. In the last episode, we had a really awesome, we had a really awesome long-running puzzle where we separated Chibi and Nanami, and we got them back together again. And in this episode, after getting all the collectibles there are to get here in the five-story pagoda, we are moving onward. Let's check this. Look, another statue. Now, this is kind of funny. You know how I told you to memorize those faces down in the water last time? Technically, you didn't need to do that, because watch this. It looks wrong without a face. Why don't you try giving him one? We start to draw, and it gives us the solution to the puzzle. There was no point in showing us that and expecting us to memorize it. It gives it to you. I have no idea why they did that. They really should have just let you draw it on there. It's not like it's hard to remember. Oh, well. Ooh. Is it going to move again? Ooh, what's going to happen next? It's destroying us! Run away! Oh, wow, it actually did fight us. So, we have to fight the statue. No, we don't have to fight the statue. We have to fight demons that were apparently in the statue. So, we have yet another fight with ice lips and fire eyes. Not really much that we can do about the ice lips once again. Um, if you want to use an exorcism fire, that actually is quite helpful against the ice lips. So, as you can see here... As I can do it, okay. So, watch the enemy's health. That is an attack from the glaive that we got. Which doesn't seem all that great, right? Well, with the glaive, you can hold down the Y button and you can charge up power. As you can see here, once you are white, you have fully charged it. Look how much more damage that does! And I say that as I get frozen. So, we'll get you. And I screwed it up, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Well, no demon bones for me. Oh, well. Let's uh, let's have a uh, let's have an exorcism fire. Wow. Um. Yeah. That was a thing. All hail the mighty piece of paper. All demons of the land fear it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny. I see that Ashura statue was just a guard. Careful now. Smell that cat. The catfish. Smell of that catfish tells me it's nearby. Bleh. So don't have full health. There's some pots there to give it to you, but all the same, there is a mirror here for you to save your data. So I'm gonna take that, and we are going to check out this imp. I'm just a poor devil trying to make a living, selling what I can. A poor devil. I'll sell to man, beast, or demon so long as they got the coin. You want to buy something? I don't know why I sound like a used car salesman and an armor general in one person. Okay, so he's got holy bones for us, spirit inks, exorcisms. I don't really need any of this stuff, but if you think you do, actually, if you don't have a fist sake in your inventory like I do, that actually might be a good thing for you to pick up. Because fist sakes actually are quite helpful in certain situations. Hint, hint, nudge, 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 wink, wink. Get rid of the Divine Sake, because honestly, I don't really find many situations where I need ink and health. I don't know. Every game RPG seems to have items where it restores both your health and something else. And I very rarely use those items. I don't know. It just Those items are never useful. So Nanami's saying, are you ready? Yes. All right, let's go. Careful, Squiddy, he's close. I must commend you for having been able to follow me this far. This is the end of the line for you, giant catfish. I am no catfish. I'm a carp. Why are you looking at me like I'm a catfish or something? Because as far as I can tell, you are a catfish. No, this is just the disguise I wear to hide in this world. I am really a carp, and soon I will become a dragon. No! <laughs> 
I don't have the time to sit here and listen to your stories. Give me that boy back right now. No, <laughs> that I cannot do. Because that little twerp is inside my belly. N no, I don't believe we saw him eat Cooney. Why don't you slice my belly open and have a peek inside? Of course, that would be impossible for you, though. Do we have a sword on our back? You know why? Because I have the wet and the wet and dry jewels, and with those in my possession, I'm unstoppable. So it was you who stole my treasures. Those are very special to me. They were given to me by Otohime. Give them back. Technically, she should be called Oto here, but yeah. Nuhaha, <laughs> what is mine is mine, and everything, we must all give up something. And it's time for you to give up your life. Well, no, I say it's time for you to give up your lunch. All right, so starting off the fight against Bullhead, he is actually a combination of two stories from mythology. He is based on the story of a giant catfish living under Japan, causing their very frequent earthquakes. There actually was an episode of Pokemon based on this story that was never aired because a giant earthquake hit Japan the week that that was set to air, and thus that episode has never been seen uh, in the US, in Japan, or anywhere else. It has been skipped in the continuity as it is a filler episode and it was kind of bad taste to air it. Uh, he is also based... You want to dodge right there actually when he comes down, just want to say that real quick. Um, he is also based on the same story that Magikarp from Pokemon is based on. So two Pokemon, uh, so two things that Pokemon are based on, Bullhead is also based on. Uh, the story of a carp that is very weak in its lifetime. He thinks that he is this. And the story actually... The story goes about a carp trying to climb a waterfall, but it is the weakest of all carps. Nobody believes that it can do it. However, it eventually does climb the waterfall despite nobody believing in it, does not give up on its dream, and ends up turning into a dragon and flying away from the pond at the end of the story. So, he's a combination of two. He's swimming away to the next island, after him. So, gotta let Nanami off, have her swim over to the next island, and then we have to vine our way over there. So yeah, he think he is actually one story, but he thinks he is another. He's gonna try to body slam on Nanami a few times while you're swimming over, but you can power slash his belly to do some extra damage. Only works on his belly, his oversight is, at least from my experience, too tough for you to do that. So, we want to go ahead and vine over. Probably the longest distance we've used vines so far, actually. So we do that, and now we're on the next island. Let's go ahead and start charging up our glaive. And he bit me. Okay. I was able to pull him up. Now, getting bit... What? What? Okay! I pulled myself up there! It's like, hey, I'm going for a ride! Hope you don't mind me doing that, bullhead! Okay, let's do this right this time. Let's pull him up with the vine. And power slash his belly. Stun him. We'll attack him a few times. And you want to dodge out of the way again? There we go. So we're doing pretty well on damage right here. Watch me do badly on it, even though I'm clearly not doing that badly. Uh, if you see right there, if you hit him, he will give you items. So if you're running low on ink, just attacking him pointlessly while he's swimming around will get you more ink. So, should you be having trouble with that, that is how you take care of that. I want to use Power Slash on one more time. And he's down to about half of his health left already. Not bad. And I get hit by him flopping down, of course. Let's see if we can get some more ink out of him. Come on. Give me ink. And he goes away. Wonderful. Ah. I believe when he does this, can you Power Slash him? I never actually have tried it. Ah, you can. Okay. Not bad. And... Give me the ink! Okay, good. I didn't think it was going to let me collect it because it was too far out in the water, but it actually did. Okay, so power slashing him right there will stop him. Now, be a good little catfish and open your mouth. I've heard that catfish can actually really hurt if you touch those whiskers on them. I've never actually had the balls to try it, but I have heard that many times. I don't know if it's just my parents telling me old wives' tales. I don't know why wives would know about fishing, considering the stereotype, but oh well. Ugh, what are these doing here? So, we now have to get a bit more clever. We have to work around those. And while we're doing that, we have some white toads right here that we can take care of to get some more ink. Because, of course, we got to keep power slashing him so that he cannot reach Nanami, because that would be kind of bad-ish. 
care of that. I don't want to use my spirit inks unless I absolutely have to, which is why I'm not just using my spirit inks and why I'm just attacking everything that I can, because, hey, it fills the video more, gives it more substance, and I am killing stuff all the same. And like I said, you can't do a Let's Play of a Zelda game or a Zelda-like game without saying the word die. Because you're always just like, die, 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 die. It's fun to say, come on. Don't act like saying die is not fun to say, because it, it, that sounded really bad. I am sorry if I made anyone feel bad there, but let's, um, that's linking to us. Uh, link to Bullhead. No, that's Nanami. No. I'm not going to get to do this, am I? Let's hope that that worked. Hey, it worked! Wow, I had like one second left on the clock. I will gladly take that. So, just keep spamming. Dodge out of the way! Ah, oh, dang it, I didn't quite dodge out of the way in time because I got cocky. Well, not really cocky, I just wanted to hit him more because I want to finish him off. Can we power slash him like this, even? Yes, you can, but I think you just get items out of it. It didn't really seem to do much damage. So, let's power slash you in the face again. Nope, didn't work. Let's try it now. And yes, it did! That stuns him. If you don't do that, he is going to launch bolts of electricity at you which I don't think you can actually... I think you can power slash them, but I don't think you can deflect them back at him, which kind of sucks. So we're going to slash him again, stun him, and... Come on, hit him one more time! Dang it! Oh, man, he was almost done! Come on! Smack, like, blow on him! Chibi, just blow on him! That's all you have to do. Let's get him up there, come on. And we will finish him with a power slash to the belly. Shouldn't have taunted us. I like how they're playing sad music, like we're supposed to feel sorry for him. <laughs> well, maybe he is sympathetic, because we didn't know anything of him. Goonie! Even though he's dripping with brown stuff. Ah! You're okay! Wahaha! I may stink a bit, but I'm okay. The son of the heroic Susano is not going down without a fight. I even brought these back from the belly of that big catfish! Convenience! The wet and the dry jewel! Thank you! I've been looking for these. Now I can finally go back to the sea. Taking the jewels from me only takes away my control over water. But don't think you've won. You shall see my true strength. Sheesh, he just won't shut up. Now that I have the dredge back, I can dry up the water. That's kind of not good because I've heard that catfish can survive a few hours without water. He just doesn't quit. Nanami, stay here. Mutt and I will handle it from here. Indeed, Mutt at your service. I will help you take him out. Mutt, let's go do this. We'll show him who's stronger. And with that, Power Slash. I missed. Hey, Mutt, I need your help. <laughs> I like how he's like sweating, he's just like, hey, um, that was supposed to be epic, but you didn't do it. Cooney style? Exploding Implosion! Celestial Cleaver!